I'm going to show you how to make paper palm crosses. So let me take these ready-made ones and show you what we're going to use. What you will need is a, a scrap piece of paper which is roughly A4 in length. You could use any colour. Uh, I've got a nice yellow piece here and you will need a pair of scissors. Now at this point if you are a little person uh, I want you to go and get a grown-up because it involves using scissors to cut out. So take your scrap piece of paper and cut two one and a half to two centimeter strips. One, two. Now do not worry if they're a bit rough. Mine will be a bit rough, but this will still work. The uh, instructions for this video roughly follow the instructions for making a palm cross, cross out of a normal palm leaf, uh, but uh, this bit I've made up for myself. So take your two bits of paper, make one go sideways and one go upwards, cross them over and fold this one going across like so. So it covers about half the width of this vertically aligned bit of paper and fold this one which is vertical down so it's about across half the width of this square here. Next, take the strip which goes to the right and fold it over. We're joining these two bits of paper together. You should have something which looks a bit like this. Next, what I want you to do is rotate it a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a diagonal fold across an imaginary line here to get these two bits of paper in line. So, you want to hold it firmly and sort of pinch it and roll it over. And so these two bits are now in line. Uh, and I'm just going to open that up so you can see what I've done for that fold. It's really quite simple. Next, take the piece of paper, the strip of paper at the back, and fold it underneath. And we've now joined our two bits of paper together. And now, from now on, we follow the normal instructions for turn turning a strip of palm into a palm cross, but I don't know how to do that, or I, at least I didn't know how to do that, so I'm going to show you that too. So, Take this piece, this strip of paper on the right and do a 45 degree fold diagonally upwards. Should look like that. Then fold it down and then fold it up again. Like so. Next, take the left hand strip of paper and fold it across the top. I want you to take the whole thing you've made and flip it over. And all that folding we've done should have created a little pocket in there. And we are going to take uh, this strip of paper on the left and we are going to thread it through that pocket. And I want you to pull it tight. And what you've done there is you've made a knot which will form the central piece of your palm cross. And you'll be pleased to know that's the hardest instructions over. So now all you have to do to make the arms of the cross, take this left strip of paper and fold it, th fold it through again, fold it and thread it through. You probably want it about that length. You can always adjust it afterwards. I give it a little press down to help it keep its shape. And then take the other side you might find it easier if you flip it over and thread it into the pocket as well. And you can see mine is just a not quite, they're not quite even those two arms. So if you just do a bit of fiddling at the back, sliding one side through and pulling one side out a little bit, you should be able to get it roughly even. 
And now the next step is really simple. We're going to take this vertical piece here, this vertical strip, and we are going to thread it through, and that will form the vertical bar of the cross. Now I've done that the wrong way. I want to turn it over and thread it through. And you will see that we have now formed a paper palm cross using no glue.